from taking humanity one step closer towards revolutionizing AI to its destructive potential if it falls into the wrong hands, here's what ChatGPT5 will really be able to do. There's a ton of anticipation for the next version of the large language model, because it might get us closer to creating AGI. That's short for Artificial General Intelligence, by the way. The AI you're familiar with, like ChatGPT and MidJourney, is kind of like a virtual brain. It can recognize patterns, process information, and follow relatively complex instructions. ChatGPT is a specific type of AI called a Large Language Model, or LLM for short. Sounds fancy, but it's simpler than you think. Researchers give LLMs tons of text to read through, and after some time, the AI begins to understand our speech patterns and can respond just like a human being. But there's one big difference. LLMs don't actually think the way we do. They just absorb all that data, recognize how we structure our thoughts, and then generate responses accordingly. That's what makes AGI so unique. Instead of just recognizing and repeating patterns like a robot, AGI will possess human-like understanding, making it more like a real consciousness than simple chatbots like ChatGPT. Think of AGI as the holy grail that every AI researcher has been looking for, and experts seem to think that ChatGPT5 will be the next big step in creating it. Some of the folks over at Metaculus predict that AGI could arrive as early as 2026, with the average earliest prediction being around 2032. And I know that seems like long shot from now, but it's actually very optimistic. Most researchers have a way longer timeline in mind, but GPT-5 is going to be the key to getting us there. So what can we expect from the next version of this LLM? The huge jump from GPT-3 to GPT-4 can give us a hint, but before we get into that, we need to clear something up. Chat GPT is just a chatbot, and GPT is the name of the large language model that serves as its brain. This means that the actual is getting an upgrade rather than the chatbot here. GPT-3 was the version of the LLM that preceded its mainstream launch, and the chatbot that millions communicated with used a slightly tweaked version called GPT-3.5. Its ability to replicate human speech was super impressive, because it almost felt like you were talking to another person on the other side. That said, GPT-4 took things to a whole other level. It could understand different English dialects and compose answers from multiple sources, which was a serious step up from the often awkward and clunky GPT-3.5. The upgraded LLM was also way smarter than its predecessor, capable of solving complex math equations and even getting a 4 out of 5 in an AP Calculus exam. On the flip side, GPT-3.5 just scored 1 out of 5 on the same test. You've probably also heard about ChatGPT's hallucinations, right? It's when an LLM gives out completely false information, but it does it with so much authority that you'll likely believe it. OpenAI claims that GPT-4 is 40% better at providing the facts, and it was also 82% less likely to generate illegal or harmful content. The improvements were about more than just cognition. OpenAI was trying to make ChatGPT safer too. Given all of this, the rumors that GPT-5 might potentially be an AGI seem pretty believable. But there's a catch. Sam Altman said that his company won't be making GPT-5, at least not anytime soon. You see, Elon Musk and a bunch of AI experts published an open letter calling for a pause on research. They claimed that companies like OpenAI shouldn't try to make anything more advanced than GPT-4, and even called on the government to hold the industry back by force if it didn't comply. People took this to mean that OpenAI was already working on GPT-5, but that couldn't be further from the truth. The CEO of OpenAI addressed this while giving a talk at MIT, saying that his company has no plans to make GPT-5, even calling the letter silly for suggesting that. Now, just because OpenAI isn't working on the next model doesn't mean that they won't try to advance GPT-4. We've already gotten a taste of its capabilities, so even if they just focus on upgrading the current model, that alone could have seismic global implications. For one thing, people are already using chat GPT for medical advice, and they'll be way more likely to do it with a newer version. Most of us already Google our symptoms before going to see a doctor. If you're lucky enough to live in a country with universal healthcare, good for you. But for those of us that have to pay for each appointment, Dr. Google's our best friend. Chat GPT is kinda like Google on steroids in that respect, cause it won't just connect you to the information. It'll read, process, and compile the information for you too. 
Just like a real doctor learns about medicine from lectures and books, ChatGPT will absorb all that info in an instant. It can then compare your symptoms to its dataset and give you its best educated guess on your condition, like real doctors do. In fact, some would say that the so-called Dr. GPT would be better than human doctors, because it doesn't need sleep, which means we'd get medical advice pretty much whenever we need it. But wait, what about those real doctors? Are they gonna be out of a job? Well, it's complicated. Most patients would prefer having a human in the room, so doctors are probably gonna start using GPT and other forms of AI as personal assistants, which means their jobs are safe for now. Unfortunately, there are countless other jobs out there that'd become obsolete if this goes on, with companies like BuzzFeed and CNET already using GPT to generate much of their content Writing and reporting jobs might be the first to go. A lot of this stuff requires more creativity than GPT-4 currently offers, so the human element will still be important for the foreseeable future. Upgrades to GPT-4 might make humans less important though. And if GPT-5 ever gets released, it's safe to say that many of these jobs will disappear. There's also a possibility for lawyers to also use AI. I mean, who's to say that GPT-5 won't be able to fight cases all on its own? The lawyers themselves are sitting pretty at the top of the pyramid, but roles like paralegals and clerks may become less important. After all, who'd hire a clerk when you can just have ChatGPT do all of that for you? Any role that requires command of the English language is at risk of getting replaced by an LLM. But you gotta understand, ChatGPT is also a powerful research tool. Financial and media analysts consider research to be their bread and butter, and ChatGPT can do their jobs in a fraction of the time. Even coding-related jobs aren't safe, with plenty of examples of ChatGPT creating basic websites popping up. Sure, GPT will need some serious upgrades to become a real threat, but given how rapidly it's advanced in the past, it won't be long before all these jobs vanish from the market. This might make it seem like AI will do a lot of damage, but it can also provide some benefits. With such a tool, you'll have the power to become truly independent. Got an investment that you're on the fence about? ChatGPT can give you some context to help you decide whether you want to go for it. That's bad news for financial advisors, yes, but for each analyst that wastes their finance degree, a hundred more will be glad that they don't have to waste money on consultations. I've already mentioned how ChatGPT might become a key source of medical advice, and that clearly pertains to financial advice as well. We are entering a new era of human innovation, and these AI tools can take productivity to the max. Businesses can save money on accountants and marketing agencies, allowing them to divert those resources towards growing their enterprises, and individuals can gain more control over their education, healthcare, and financial decisions. At the end of the day, ChatGPT is just a tool, and any tool becomes dangerous if it falls into the wrong hands. Thanks to LLMs, anyone can sound like an expert nowadays. But there's a huge difference between talking the talk and walking the walk. We might start to see people put off authority that just isn't there, because the person on the other side used ChatGPT to sound like they know what they're doing. I mean, people have used this to their advantage by creating believable scams with ChatGPT. But you can't blame the LLM for that. It's just doing what it's programmed to do. Between the loss of jobs, the blurring of the line between fact and fiction, and how its powers can be misused. It's easy to see why so many people are afraid of GPT-5. So from the dangers of such a powerful tool getting used by people with bad intentions to the clear progress it shows in the journey to AGI, this was everything you needed to know about ChatGPT-5's true capabilities.